You know, I'll tell you, as, as I'm working on updating this alligator snapping turtle pond, I can't help but kind of immediately just think back to a couple weeks ago, uh, working on a pond for snapping turtles for my friend Charlie Moorcroft. It was really great having this like meeting of the minds. We all kind of came together, me, Dan, and Tanner. Um, and, you know, it was, everybody had a job. It was cool. We all got to work together and come up with, you know, a design that I think ended up working really well for Charlie and it works really well for the snappers. Hey, what's up, guys? Today I am at Charlie Moorcroft's place and I am here with Dan the Turtle Man and Tanner from Serpa Design. And today we're gonna to be working on making a pond for Charlie Moorcroft. He has some snapping turtles and wanted to make him something um, very natural, uh, something that the snapping turtles can enjoy, but also something that Charlie can enjoy. And we're going to take this and turn it into an amazing snapping turtle pond. And, and my job is just to talk about what the turtles like and lay things out and kind of match the biology of where they live. So that's kind of my job. Everybody's got a part to play. I'm really excited for this. We've been planning this for honestly, I think about over a year. So it's finally here. It's gonna be really fun. So stick around. We got the tree down. I almost died. So right now, carrying this wood, and uh, yeah. I think I used one of my nine lives. I think I'm down to three now. But pretty stoked. This is gonna be great. All these, like the way we could link these together. Oh yeah. I, I mean, you have plants in between. We could So what we're doing now is we're gonna cover the blue stock tank with this black liner. Uh, this will kind of hide it. It won't have that blue look. It won't look like a big blue bowl in the ground. Uh, and then this also gives us the option to really kind of start scaping around it and covering it up. And then this way, when you look in the water, it's gonna look a lot more natural. Out here looking for some rock. Uh, looks like we got a pretty good variety. Uh, we're gonna find some of these to stick in some of the little corners, pockets, some of the bottom of the pond. Uh, so we're looking for unique shapes. I like to try and find things like this because you can stick that in a corner. But I think between me, Dan, Tanner, and Charlie, I think we've got a pretty good crew for picking stuff. Hopefully we're strong enough because this stuff looks heavy. All right, so we got some rocks, some rocks to weigh, and then uh, Charlie gets to cut a check. Yeah. Hey buddy. These are cool, look at the awesome texture of these rocks. You can have like plants growing in here, microorganisms will move in, and they'll be part of the biology of the pond. Got some built-in shells, really cool stuff. No, and a cap rock. More? Cap rock? Yeah, the cap rock, you got a seven to thirty dollar. Seven to thirty dollar? Mm-hmm. So what do I what do I put that under? Cap rock. Just do thirty-four cents. Alright, so here we are back at the house, unloading some of the rock that we selected and gonna start putting these around the pond and work on placement. Got it? But yeah, this guy's a workhorse. I should have been having him do it. 
got a little lifting going on. Alright. I don't want to break the dogs. What we've done here is we've basically simulated a log jam like what you would see in a beaver pond or like a cypress swamp. And we've got like a down tree here. And we've got some sections of a cypress tree that are gonna be kind of coming up out of the water and I think that's gonna look good. And uh, really kind of fit the vibe. What do you think, Dan? So like log jam type deal, like where you would naturally find these guys? Yep. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Perfect. Tanner prepping the filter here. It's gonna intake the water through this uh, plastic cover housing the pump. And through here, it's gonna go up and be hidden, and then go here. We've got our bog filter, feeds the pond. All right, back here at Charlie's, build day two. We're sweaty, it's hot. Dan's got a hammer. <laughs> so, yeah, we're back at it, placing rocks. Gonna try and knock this thing out today because I gotta drive back tomorrow. So we have like a huge selection of rocks. You can see we've got all size, different rocks, pieces of flagstone. Have like some pretty cool like bent palm trees. And this is where it gets awesome. I like that. No, 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 spin it, yes. Like this. Yep, and that end can go tucked under. Where else? Behind you? Behind you through the... Under well, the I lug. just need, I need one little triangle. All right, so we got first fill going on right now. Uh, the water's actually not super, super murky. Uh, this will actually filter out once it goes up through the bog. And we still have to finish the bog, but this is like the first kind of glimpse of what the water level is going to look like and how things are going to look inside the pond with the water. Looking pretty good. Nate's looking super good right there. <laughs> I'm going to put his uh, info right here. So get at him. Yeah. And we got Dan over here, but you guys have seen Dan. Let's go back to Nate real quick. What's that's, up? A, dude, <laughs> that's, that's what you want. During breeding season. No, no, Charlie, how often do they go at that? That's what he's saying. How often do they go at it? Like, how often? <laughs> what are you thinking so far about the pond? I think it's absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of the creativity and the vision and also the balance of the three of you guys, which are way more... Um, <clears throat> experienced and you know familiar with how it's turning out nate's been amazing also so between the four of you luckily we've got access to all this amazing stuff pretty locally um we've certainly had to make a couple of road trips but it, it, it's amazing i'm totally blown away bog is looking super sick got all kinds of plants in here got some monstera getting there yeah <laughs> this is what you like right yeah, I mean, it's just, we've been going at it. Oh man, it's gonna be sick though. It's like, it stinks because the, especially the bog system, it kind of doesn't look that good when we first set it up. But I know that when any of us come back, it's gonna look like the plants will upright themselves and everything. It's gonna look real good. Especially here in Florida. Yeah. These things naturalize over time. The plants move in, the biological filtration moves in, microorganisms move in. And you know like, the like what what starts with something as simple as you know like basically a Rubbermaid or you know poly stock tank becomes an actual habitat. Pretty cool.
need like a. Yeah, give me like a. Give me that piece of slate, the one. Yes, yes. All right, so what Tanner's doing right now is working on the waterfall. It's almost like tuning an instrument for a certain sound and a certain flow rate. You know, you want to place like rocks or, uh, you know, some kind of obstruction and it's going to affect the flow and it's going to affect the sound. Uh, if you want like a higher flow, you want to make it more narrow. You want to place, you know, your rocks in there to really focus it or you can make it wider and mellow. So right now he's trying to get it to the desired effect and, you know, you just play with it. You just fine tune it. <laughs> it's like tuning a guitar. It's pretty sick. Now step towards that edge and just make sure that she doesn't... But you're going to break this. Yeah, 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 easy. That's enough. That's enough. I'm going to put gravel so that way we... That's all. You know, once you see the finished pond, that's amazing, and you're standing there taking it in. But the icing on the cake is when you put the turtles in there the first time. Oh. You wanna go first? Yeah. All right. Check it. And you just put them in, and they go in there, and they just slowly disappear into the pond. And that's what you want to see. You want to see the animals just disappear. They've become one with the environment that you created. It doesn't get any better than that. So I want to thank Tanner, Serpa Design. I want to thank Dan, the Turtle Man. And a big thank you to Charlie Moorcroft for basically making this all happen. I had a fantastic time. Please check out everybody else's channels. I'm going to link them in the description below. And you guys give them a shout. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know if you've ever built a pond. Tell me all about it below in the comments. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.